My name is Mr. Grionis, and I'm here today to give you proper safety instruction on how to use the drill press. First, let me point out a couple features of the drill press. The drill press is used when we need to drill a hole through a piece of material. A couple features of the machine here, this is the on-off switch. In order to turn the machine on, you need to lift it up in the air. In order to turn it off, you push it down. Over on this side here, we have a handle. After the machine has reached full speed, when you pull down on the handle, that will take the drill bit into the material. This right here is called the table. The table is what holds the material and supports the material while you're drilling into it. That was a brief overview of what the drill press is and a couple of features of the machine. Now I'm going to give you some safety instruction on how to operate this machine safely. First and foremost, operate only with the instructor's permission after you have received instruction. This machine is a very dangerous machine. After watching this video, you'll now understand the safety precautions that you need in order to operate this machine in a safe manner. Rule number two, remove jewelry, eliminate loose clothing, and confine long hair. Jewelry is everything from watches, to wristbands, to rings, anything that could possibly get caught in the machine. Maybe a necklace that dangles. Loose clothing, you've noticed that I've rolled my sleeves up today. Roll up your sleeves anytime you're using a piece of power equipment. Loose clothing could also be an excessive, you know, uh, jacket, maybe baggy clothing. Keep in mind, if you're wearing a hoodie, any drawstrings that might be on the hoodie. Confine long hair. This applies to both males, males and females. If you have hair that's below the shoulder, you need to tie that back. Rule number four, always wear eye protection. Anytime you're doing anything in the lab, you should always wear eye protection to protect your eyes. Rule number five, hold material securely with a vise or clamp. This is a C-clamp, and this is a vise. This is the material, in this case it's a piece of wood. And if I want to drill a hole in this piece of wood, I need to make sure that I have it mounted to the table with this clamp. The clamp holds it securely so that my hands can be placed in a safe area not put in harm's way.
Rule number six, be sure to remove the chuck key before operating. This is the chuck key. This is the chuck. The chuck key and the chuck have teeth that mesh with each other. In order to remove a bit, it gets turned in a counterclockwise motion. In order to install a bit, it gets turned in a clockwise motion. The most important thing here is to remove this tool before the machine is turned on. If you turn the machine on with this tool in it, it could fly out and injure someone. Rule number seven, if any adjustments need to be made, get the instructor. These must be made with the power turned off. Remember, the power switch is located at the top here. If adjustments need to be made, make sure the power is turned off. In this case, with this particular machine, adjustments are typically made with the height of the, and location of the table. Rule number eight, start and stop the machine yourself. Make sure the tool has reached full speed before applying it to the work. In this case, the work, the material that I'm working with, is the wood. I have the material clamped securely to the table. I turn the machine on and it's reached full speed. Now I can turn down, pull down on the handle and drill into my material. Once you're done drilling, turn the machine off. You never want to keep the machine running for the next person. You want to make sure that the next person, when they come to this machine, they have a safe operating environment where they can set up the machine to suit their needs and drill into their material. Rule number nine, do not drill into the table. This is the table of the drill press. There's a hole located in the center of the table. You always want to make sure the hole in the center of the table is lined up with the drill bit. As you can see right now, the hole in the center is lined up with the drill bit. If you walk up to the machine, and the hole is not lined up with the drill bit, then you can accidentally drill into the table. Not only will that damage the table, but that will also damage the drill bit. So you always want to make sure the hole in the center of the table is lined up with the drill bit. If it is not, and you need help making this adjustment, just ask the instructor. Rule number 10, turn the power off if the workpiece is stuck in the drill. Do not try to grab the workpiece if it is spinning 
with the drill bit. Occasionally, a drill bit can go into a piece of material and slide out of the clamp. And when you lift up on the handle, the material can be stuck in the drill bit, similar to this. If the material is spinning in the air with the drill bit, do not try and grab it. Turn the power off or step back, raise your hand and get the instructor. That is all I have for you today with regards to your safety instruction on the drill press. Please follow all these rules when you're operating this machine and you will create a safe environment not only for yourself but for others in the classroom. Thank you.